Hello everyone, it's Sandra. I'm back in all my shiny glory because today's video is going to be all about my updated skincare routine. Now I did ask on Instagram whether you would prefer to see this in two separate videos, like morning and evening, or if you just wanted one video altogether. The race was very narrow, but ultimately one video, one. So I'm just going to talk about my morning and evening skincare routine all in the same video. If you're interested in only the evening skincare routine part, I will have like a little timestamp on the screen and in the description box at the bottom so you can just skip forward to watch my evening skincare routine because I will start with my morning skincare routine. It's the end of the day and I actually will do my evening skincare routine on camera, but for my morning skincare routine, as it's quite simple, I thought I would just kind of talk through it at the beginning, show you all the products, talk you through how I use them, and then I will get my makeup off and get ready for the evening to do my evening skincare routine. I hope that makes sense. I am wearing, this is like end of the day makeup for me, so I am a little bit shinier than usual. I didn't touch up or anything, but I'm wearing the YSL All Hours Foundation today. In case you're wondering, it has held up very well. It's been about 12 hours of it being on my face. I didn't blot at all today, and actually, I don't even think I powdered, so. Uh, I just powdered my under eye. But uh, this is not a video about foundations, it's a video about skincare. So as you can see, my skin is a uh, like oily combination and my skin is also very, very acne prone. I have to be very careful. I've, I've struggled with adult acne my entire adult life basically. In the morning, I cleanse and I cleanse my skin with cold water. I used to use hot water with a washcloth morning and night, but my skin ha wasn't that happy with it. I, I read a lot of conflicting articles. Some people swear by using a washcloth, at, washcloth in hot water morning and night. Some people say that it can actually dry out the skin and dehydrate the skin. So I stopped using a warm washcloth on my skin in the morning. And in the morning, I just wash my face with like lukewarm, between lukewarm and cold water and just a very, easy, simple gel cleanser. I do like to switch it up every now and then, and I received this in PR several months ago. I have been using this and I actually really enjoy it. It's the J1 Jelly Cleanser. This is a Korean skincare company and you can find this at Glow Recipe online. They're a wonderful K-beauty retailer. So this is the cleanser that I've been using lately. I'm actually almost out of it. I have like about a quarter of a tube left. I like how sleek the packaging is. The pH of this cleanser is low. It does foam up a tiny, tiny bit, but it's not drying in any way. It is a little bit stronger than the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser, but I don't mind. It also has a quite a strong honey fragrance. The scent kind of grew on me. I didn't love it at first, but now I actually really enjoy it. And I just use about a pea-sized amount of this, massage it all over my skin, rinse off with cold water, and I love using this in the morning. I actually use this in, at night as well. If I'm feeling bougie, if I have a little bit of extra time on my hands in the morning, I will use this instead. This is the May Lindstrom Honey Mud. This is a clay-based cleanser. It also contains some enzymes. It has a very luxurious cocoa jasmine scent. It is a beautiful product. It's a very, very rich clay texture. And I actually use this as a mask before I go into the shower. So I use this like as a cleansing mask in the morning. If I do have some extra time, I feel like I, my skin needs some extra pampering. I will put this on, then I will go into the shower. And as I take a shower, it kind of activates the aromatherapy in this mask. So it feels really nice. And if you rinse this off with water, it turns into a milk. So it's like, it's a really cool like clay to milk type of type of product and it always leaves my skin feeling super, super soft. The next step would be toning and this is an acid toning step. I don't do this every day. I do this only about three times a week. I used to be diligent and I would use acid products every single day, every single morning, but my skin did not react well to that. I always noticed an increase in sensitivity and an increase in irritation when I would use acid exfoliation every single day. So I cut it back to three times a week and my skin has been very, very happy. So about three times a week after I cleanse, I will use this acid toner type of product. This is Biologique Recherche Lotion P50, the Pigum 400 formula, which is targeted 
uh, towards hyperpigmentation, which is something that I struggle with. I have a lot of old acne scars. I have a little bit of sun damage coming through. So incorporating this into my skincare routine helps tackle those concerns. Some people can handle using lotion P50 every single day, morning and night. I have tried that and it just does not work for me. So it's Skincare is all about experimenting and playing with products and always keep in mind that what works for some person might not work for you. Now, when I use this, I do all my follow-up steps using only Biologique Recherche products. I'm fortunate enough that I have been able to kind of amass a little Biologique Recherche product collection and I like using them all together. I think they work really well in a routine all together. So about three times a week when I use lotion P50 after cleansing, I will go in with my Biologique Recherche serums. And the two that I have right now are the Dermapore Serum and the Oligo Protein Marine Serum. This Oligo Protein Marine Serum is, it's for skin brightening and it is very nice. It makes my skin look really, really glowy. I don't think it's as effective at fading hyperpigmentation as a product with vitamin C would be, but I am enjoying it. It is quite gentle on the skin. I don't have any adverse reactions to it. And then the Dermapore Serum is a serum targeted for dilated pores, and I really like this for balancing out my T-zone. Sometimes I use these together, but I don't mix them together in the palm of my hand. I would just use the Dermapore Serum, about three drops. I would just press it into my T-zone, and then I would use the Oligoprotein Marine Serum, about five to seven drops, just massaging the product all on my chin and uh, on my cheeks where a lot of my hyperpigmentation tends to be. So I kind of use them in targeted areas. And then I follow up with this Biologique Recherche Moisturizer. I have received quite a few samples of this. Every single time I order a Biologique Recherche product, you get a free sample. You can ask for a sample of a particular product. And I always wanted to try this Creme Dermal Purifiant. It's their moisturizer targeted for oily, acne prone skin. And I got a few samples of this. This is like my third sample of it that I've been using up and I really enjoy it. I will definitely be buying the full size of this when, um, when the time comes. So that's what I do when I do the Biologique Recherche routine about three times a week. Other than that, if I'm not doing a Biologique Recherche routine after cleansing, I would just go in with my hydrating serum. My hydrating serum of choice is the Jordan Samuel Skin Hydrate Serum. I absolutely love this stuff. I have the big, big bottle of it. I also have a little bottle that I like to use when I travel. It's just, it's wonderful. There's no fragrance, no essential oils. It has aloe, hyaluronic acid, um, a little bit of a vitamin C acid derivative in it. Not enough to actually like brighten the skin, but enough to, uh, to give you a little bit of antioxidant action in there. And I just, I just really love it. Every single time I put this on my skin, my skin just feels really hydrated and soothed and it is very lightweight. It never feels cloying on my skin, which is something that I appreciate, especially in the summertime. I also get a lot of questions from my fellow Canadian viewers about ordering this product. You can just order Jordan Samuel skin products straight from his website. He doesn't have his products in any retailers. He is direct to consumer. You can just order it. He will ship to Canada. And since the products are made in the United States, you will not get charged with customs for it because it falls under NAFTA. I find that whenever I order products that are made in the US, I don't get charged for customs duties when I order the stuff in Canada. So just something to keep in mind if you are in Canada and you want to try his products, definitely, definitely worth checking out. If you are on a budget and you're looking for a hyaluronic acid serum, there's a really good one from The Ordinary. There's the um, hyaluronic acid plus B5 serum that a lot of my friends have been using and they rave about it. So that is something to keep in mind if you want to try something a little bit more friendly on the wallet. After the hydrating serum, if it's a non-biologique recherche skincare day, I just use this product instead of a moisturizer. I've mentioned this before in my Summer Beauty Essentials video. This is the Rejuvi Skin Healing Gel. It's an aloe-based gel. It is super, super soothing and it does the trick for me. If my skin is just feeling oily and I don't really feel the need for an extra moisturizing step, this does the job. It just feels really soothing. I feel like it just kind of seals everything in, gives me a little bit of, um, of, of pr protection, soothing, especially in the summertime. How many times am I going to say soothing in this video for real? I love this. And this is a product that you can also mix into clay masks. If you're somebody with more sensitive dry skin, you can always just use a pump of this, mix in with a clay mask to kind of prevent it, prevent it from drying out your skin too much. 
it kind of alleviates some of that dryness that clay masks can can bring into the skin so this is a great multi-purpose product I've been loving this instead of a moisturizer on hot summer days. And for eye cream during the day, I alternate between these two products depending on my mood, depending on how my eye situation is looking that day. They're quite similar products, but the textures are very different. One is a lot more lightweight than the other. We have the Ren Instant Brightening Beauty Shot Eye Lift. This is a hyaluronic acid serum for the under eye area. It has a beautiful lightweight texture and it has a pearlescence to it. So it really does brighten the under eye area when you put it on. A little goes a long way. I only need about half a pump of this underneath both my eyes. I'm not sure if you can see the pearlescence, but it's definitely there and this just feels like a nice drink of water under the eyes. If my under eye area is feeling a little bit dry and I just need something a little bit more rich underneath, I love the Ulla Henriksen Banana Bright Cream. This has peptides and vitamin C in it. This also has a little bit of a pearlescence to it. It also has a yellow tint, which tends to help counteract a little bit of the purple and the, the blue that we can get under the eyes after a long night. After that, I would go in with sunscreen. These are the two sunscreen products that I've been using. If I'm in a rush and I don't have time for like foundation, I just want something really, really quick all over my base, I use the tinted sunscreen from Aven. I use this in the shade medium. This has SPF 50 and it's 100% mineral sunscreen. If I want to use one of my regular foundations that day, I will use this underneath and this is from Indeed Labs. This is called In Defense 30. This is physical and chemical. This does contain zinc oxide and octanoxate. My skin can be quite finicky and sensitive with chemical sunscreen filters, but octanoxate is one that I have zero problems with. The Tatcha sunscreen I also really love, but I ran out of it and it's also super expensive. So I'm gonna wait for the Sephora VAB sale to repurchase that, but really, really enjoy this sunscreen. I also like the packaging. I find it to be really travel friendly. So that is what I do for sun protection. And now I'm going to take my makeup off and show you my evening skincare routine. Okay, so I removed my makeup, I took a shower, and now we're ready for the true evening routine. I have already washed my face. I didn't want to do it on camera because obviously it gets messy and there's water everywhere, but I do have a little bit of leftover mascara. I used a cleansing oil to remove my makeup. I really like this Vichy cleansing oil, which you can see it's almost, uh, it's almost gone. This is what I use when I have a bit more makeup on, a bit of a more long wearing foundation. This really tends to cut through all of that and remove makeup beautifully, but I don't like to do too much rubbing around my eyes. I kind of like to just leave my eyes and use a separate eye makeup removing product after that. If I don't have a lot of makeup on, I will just use a micellar water. This is the Bioderma Hydro Bio one, and actually, I think I like this better than the pink one. It's a little bit more hydrating. I really enjoy this. When I have a very light makeup day, this is what I will use to remove my eye makeup and my face makeup. Today I use this cleansing oil and then afterwards I just used the same cleanser that I use in the morning, the J1 Jelly Cleanser. I do have some leftover eye makeup and I'm just going to take this little cotton pad here. I use the Quo cotton pads. I get them from uh, Shopper's Drug Mart. They are an exact dupe of the Shiseido cotton pads, but they're like half the price. So if you are American and you're traveling to Canada anytime soon, go over to the drugstore, Shopper Drug Mart, and get the Quo cotton pads because they are exactly the same as the Shiseido for a fraction of the price. I used to swear by the Shiseido ones, um, but then I switched to the Quo. For eye makeup, this is the La Roche-Posay Respectissime Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover. This is my favorite eye makeup remover of all time. This is like my third bottle of it. It's just something that I will keep repurchasing over and over. It doesn't give me cloudy vision. It doesn't irritate my eyes. It doesn't have any fragrance in it whatsoever. It's like a bi-phase one, so you do have to shake it up, but I really love it. See, like I didn't have to do any rubbing. I just gently lay it on there and just I just keep patting. Then I like to take my damp washcloth and I just kind of go over it to remove any of the oily residue on my eyes. So the first thing I do every single night after cleansing is I use my Niad, Niad, not sure how to pronounce the brand, Copper Amino Isolate Serum. It has this beautiful blue color to it. Here it is. And I use about five to seven drops. And then I just work it. It's very, very watery. It sinks into the skin super, super quickly. This product is not meant to be used with 
any acid products, they will kind of cancel each other out. So you, you will not get the benefits of this. So I never use any acid products at night. So I use this serum at night and I love it. It's hard to say why exactly I love it because it, it's not like it does one thing in particular, but I just noticed that overall my skin health has dramatically improved since I started using this. And I have even tried to test it and I've, I've gone without using it for about a month and a half. And this was the only product in my routine that I had stopped using. I was keeping everything else the same and my skin just was not as good. So um, it's definitely a, you have to try it and see if it works for you type of product. There are a lot of great studies that you can read about copper peptides and their effect on skin health. I really, really like this product and I don't think there's anything comparable on the market. Anyway, after that, I use another NIAD, NIAD product. This is the Fractionated Eye Contour Concentrate. This is a very fancy long name for uh, an eye serum. I love watery products. I love how lightweight these are. And this product, every single time I use this at night, if I forget to use it, my eyes don't look as good in the morning. My under eye area looks puffy and just really dull, but when I use this consistently, I definitely notice an improvement in my under eye area. So I just apply this all over. I apply it on my eyelids as well, all around the eye, gently patting it in. One drop is enough for both eyes for me. A little goes a long way. Next, we have the face, and I use the Jordan Samuel Skin Hydrate Serum again, this time mixed in with the Rejuvi Flavonoid Complex. This is a fantastic product, and if you follow the facialist Nerda Joy, I will link to her YouTube channel below. She is such a well of information. She has so many wonderful informative videos, caters to numerous different skin concerns, and she uses this in almost all her facials. It will help strengthen the capillaries. It will help fight redness and just improve skin health. This will help kind of get your skin back on track. And I just found that ever since I stopped being so aggressive with um, like glycolic acid and salicylic acid twice a day, every day, like all the stuff, ever since I, start, I started focusing more on ingredients and products cater to just gently and overall improving skin health, I have found a lot better results. So I'm gonna keep going. I'm just using about a pump, two pumps of the Jordan Samuel Skin Hydrate Serum, and then one pump of the Rejuvi Flavonoid Complex. This is like, um, smells really nice. It's like a really oily, dark yellow serum. And I kind of mix them together in my hand and I apply it all over my face. Now, I don't know where you can get Rejuvi products in Canada. I don't think you can. From, from all my internet browsing, I was not able to find a Canadian retailer. Um, I order it from Derm Store and I get it shipped to my US address. That's how I'm able to get it. But if you are Canadian, if you were able to get your hands on Rejuvi products, please let us know in the comment section below because I would love to uh, I would love to let my fellow Canadians know where they can find this product. This sinks into the skin quickly. My skin feels really, really nourished and hydrated. There's like a slight tackiness to my skin, but nothing crazy. And if my skin is feeling a little bit sensitive, if I have any like peeling going on, or if I feel like I'm starting to get, I always notice um, in here, if. I have like these two big areas of redness and when these areas are red at this point in my skincare routine, and then I know that my skin is kind of like on edge and um, I just stop here. I just use my Rejuvi aloe gel and then I go to bed. If at this stage my skin is fine and can handle something a little bit more intense or if I'm having a little bit of a breakout, a little bit of congestion, I will go in with my Differin cream. Now Differin is a retinoid. It is a vitamin A derivative. It contains adapalene, which is related to trentinoin, which is the active ingredient in like prescription strength Retin-A. Differin is supposed to be good for people that suffer from acne, and this has made a huge difference in my acne. I have mentioned this in a lot of my previous skincare routine videos. 
I did get this as a prescription for my dermatologist. In Canada, this is prescription only, but in the United States, you can get the gel version of this at the drugstore. So you can just go to CVS, go to Walgreens, it's like 20 bucks, and you can get the gel version of this. When I looked at the ingredients between the gel version and the cream version that I have, cream version is definitely loaded with more skin nourishing ingredients. So if you do use the gel version, you might want to add a moisturizer on top. I would definitely suggest doing your research. There are a lot of really helpful YouTube videos about starting different if you're interested, but this has made a huge difference in my acne and it's a product that I will keep using. It also has anti-aging benefits considering that it is in the vitamin A family. It just helps boost collagen production and it helps the regeneration of the skin cells, which is something that I appreciate. If you don't want to use a prescription strength vitamin A product, there are certainly a ton of really, really great over-the-counter retinols that you can use. The Ordinary is a wonderful resource. They have like five different strengths that you can get. And there are a lot of really helpful resources online to help you figure out which one is right for you. I also really love Dr. Sam Bunting on YouTube. She's a dermatologist from London. She, I love her skincare philosophy. She has gorgeous skin and she's a really, really big proponent of retinol. She does a great job explaining the difference between like Adapalene, Retin-A, over-the-counter retinols. And uh, she's also a really big proponent for using a retinol in your evening routine. So I think she's a great, great resource, especially if you're struggling with acne. Uh, adult acne and you want to kind of tackle acne and anti-aging at the same time I will leave the link to her channel below now next at the stage if I have a blemish uh, or if I can feel like a little bump that might be turning into a blemish anytime soon I like to tackle it with the Kate Somerville anti-back this has been my go-to spot treatment for years now if you follow my channel for a while you were probably sick of hearing me talk about this but Love this. Unfortunately, this is not available in Canada, so all my fellow Canadians, you're going to have to scoop this up next time you are at a Sephora in the States. Um, that's where I get mine. My skin actually responds to uh, benzoyl peroxide quite well. This contains 5% benzoyl peroxide. I never get any crazy irritation or anything from it, despite it being 5%. If you're in Canada and you don't want to go through the trouble of locating the Kate Somerville anti-back, you can get the Paula's Choice. Uh, Paula's Choice has a 2.5% benzoyl peroxide spot treatment that is also really nice and effective and quite gentle. So I just dot it on the areas where I feel like a blemish could be appearing and then um, I go to bed. If I have a white head, and this can be really graphic, but sometimes if you have a white head and it's angry, it's ready to pop, but you don't want to pop it because you know popping your pimples is not good try not to do it don't do your own extractions because that can lead to scarring but sometimes it's so ripe and fresh for the picking that if you're just cleansing with a washcloth the whitehead will kind of just like pop itself so if that ever happens if i have a whitehead or if i have a blemish that kind of popped itself I will use one of these to kind of cover it up and help it heal. These are the Cosarex Acne Pimple Master Patch. I get these from Amazon, they're fantastic. I also really like the Next Care Acne Patches that I can get at the drugstore. So it kind of depends, like if I haven't placed an Amazon order and I have a pimple that is ready to go, I can just go to the drugstore and um, grab some of the Next Care Patches, they do the trick. So you just get these patches, you get different sizes, and you just peel them and you put them on top of the blemish. And they kind of keep everything in place. They suck out all the gunk out of your white head or out of the blemish that just popped. When you wake up in the morning, you will just have, like it will, it will not be a raised bump anymore. It just kind of flattens things out. So this is great to have on hand. And what else do I do? That's it, I do my eyelash growth serum which is very high maintenance, I know, but these actually work. I was so skeptical with these serums, but I use the New Lash Serum and it does work. And right now I think it's on sale in the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale. And I do a little bit of lip balm and then I go to bed. The lip balm that I'm using right now is the Laneige Lip Mask, which I actually don't love. This was in my disappointing product video, but I am going to try to use it up because I hate having products go to waste. Now, normally, if I wasn't doing this on camera, I would be taking everything down to my neck and chest as well. I'm usually wearing like a robe at this point, so it's easy for me to go all over. Never 
neglect your neck and your chest. Sometimes if I have a serum or moisturizer that will not work on my face, if it breaks me out, I will end up using it up on my neck and chest morning and night. So that's it, that's my current evening routine and I talk through my morning skincare routine as well. I hope that you have found this helpful. Let me know what products you are loving in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.